Hey, I'm Jason Creel. I want to talk to you about four myths about the lawn care business. You know, I think if you're in the business and you know how guys like to ask you what you do for a living and when they find out that's what you do, you know, they, they have some assumptions about your career. And so let's talk about these four myths and see, um, see if we can debunk the myths. So number one, you make more money when it rains. I have people tell me that. It, it will have a rainy week and you know, I'll be talking to someone that say, oh, I bet this is good for your business, you know, and I'm thinking, well, you know, I, I understand what they're saying. Yeah, rain makes the grass grow and grass grows, people need it cut, but, you know, the truth is, I don't necessarily buy into that rain is better for my business. I mean, let's think about it. For one, a rainy day is, chances are you don't make any money, and so, uh, it, it's a headache, especially if it rains two or three days in a week. I mean, you really have a, a struggle to get all your work done that week. And then, you, you know, you have those customers who don't understand. Say their yard's set to be cut on a Thursday. You know, and it rained Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And you don't show up to cut their yard on Thursday. They're looking at you and calling you and say, well, you know, hey, it's Thursday. You didn't show up. They don't realize they're not your only customer and that you have to catch up on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday also. And so, you know, the rain, in my opinion, I, I don't see a lot of customers who, hey, it's raining a lot, so instead of getting my grass cut every other week, I'm going to get it cut every week. I mean, I have some, but they do that whether it rains or not, and, and a lot of them have irrigation. And so I find that people uh, like to remain on the same schedule on a rainy rainy. Uh, season is as a dry season so you know for the most part and, and like I say I guess the headaches of rain uh, outweigh the benefits and two you know as the grass grows faster and gets thicker and so it just becomes more work I mean it's like in the spring and the fall you can fly through a lawn because it's really not growing that fast but in the summer if it's hot and raining a lot and the grass really growing fast you know it's more work to, to make that lawn look good you know it's just more grass and so um, anyway I don't necessarily buy into that rain is it means more money though obviously a drought is not good either so number two it's a high schooler's job you know I think I think that's the perception a lot of times with people in the lawn care you know not people in it but people who look at lawn care as hey that's something my my son did when he was in high school and and made a little extra money on the side you know and I had a friend of mine when I started my lawn care business he set me straight on that I was putting out some flyers and just trying to get any kind of business I could and it was in the fall and I was putting out you know willing to clean up leaves for next to nothing and he set me straight he said listen you're not just trying to rake a few leaves up to make a five dollars or you know what it is you're in the business and you you know and so you need to be convinced of that um, and because that affects the way you price your service you know if you think hey I'm just out here doing this to make a little extra money and that and it reflects in your pricing so if you look at your business as this is a, a legit business I'm building um, something that's worth money and, and my services are worth a lot of money too and so you know you carry yourself that way and and so anyway don't don't buy into that that it's a high schooler's job though it can be a good high schooler's job it's also a great demand for our services and uh, so anyway next it's this is similar but the third myth would be that it's not a career you know so you got some people say well maybe it's not for high school but it it's not something you really can do long term you know again they're not looking at it as a legit business that can make a lot of money and so what I'd say is you know what you don't have to convince them but at the same time a large lawn care business is worth a lot of money and makes a lot of money and the people who own them are making a lot of money I mean unless they're just up to debt and in their eyeballs and debt and they've made a lot of mistakes but you know it is a real business that can produce big time income and so you know don't worry about people's perception but don't believe that you can't make a career out of mowing lawns because you can and I'm talking not counting landscaping and irrigation fertilization all the other things you can get into so 
Anyway, the fourth and final myth we'll talk about today is that anyone can do it. You know, I, I get that sense. Sometimes people think, well, you know, you're just cutting grass. I mean, what's so anybody can do that? You know, and the truth is, uh, not anyone can do it. And because if you don't believe me, try to find a crew chief for your business. You know, that's what people say, oh, it's hard to find good employees. It is. It's hard to find people who have the skill set needed to be successful in lawn care. And I'm talking about just running your business, not handling all the actual business side, but just the, just the actual work side, it's hard to find someone who has that skill set and is dependable and has enough people skills that can handle a complaining customer or can see an opportunity to gain a new customer and to go talk to that person and pick up that customer. It's hard to find someone like that. And so if you are that person and you have that skill set, you know how to talk to people, you know a little bit about marketing, you know a little bit about accounting, you know how to manage employees, you know how to handle a complaining customer, you're even handy to, to be able to work on your equipment when you need to and do just routine maintenance. I mean, and then too, just the actual cutting of the grass, I mean, not everybody knows how to handle the equipment and it shows. I mean, I'm, not everybody even in the lawn care business knows how to handle the equipment and to make a, a yard look nice. And so uh, part of this is the don't underestimate your skill set. And you know, it's not it's not rocket science. It's not something that's that's too complicated, but at the same time, uh, it's a demanding job and it, it is a rewarding job. And so don't think that what you do uh, is something anyone can do. Hope that helps, thanks.